Hello. On November 1, 2010, Amazon Web Services introduced the free usage tier. New customers can use it for free for one year, up to certain limits. For details on these limits, see aws.amazon.com slash free. This is good news. It means that you can run your website for free on Amazon Web Services, or AWS. This presentation shows you how to do it in every detail. Before we start, let me introduce myself. My name is Simone Brunozzi. I'm the Amazon Web Services Technology Evangelist, Asia Pacific, based in Singapore. This is your agenda. You first create a new Amazon Web Services account. You open the Management Console on the web. From there, you launch a virtual server with Amazon EC2, and then you upload your website. It's that simple and easy. Now relax and enjoy this presentation. Step one, create an Amazon Web Services account. Open a browser and go to aws.amazon.com. Click the Sign Up Now button. If you are an existing Amazon.com customer, you can sign up for Amazon Web Services. However, the free tier is only available to new customer accounts. If you are a new customer, enter your email address, select the I am a new user option, and click the Sign In button. Step 1. Enter your first and last name, your email address, and a password. Then click Create Account. Step 2. Enter your address and phone number. Read the AWS Customer Agreement, check the box, and to confirm you're human, read the text and type it in the box. Then click Continue. You can enter your VAT number or provide it later. Click Continue. Good! You have just received an email that confirms the creation of your Amazon Web Services account. Step 3. You need to subscribe to the services that you want to use. You want to launch virtual servers, so click on Amazon EC2, Elastic Compute Cloud. On the main Amazon EC2 web page, click Sign up for Amazon EC2. You are presented with a list of prices for Amazon EC2. Prices depend on the type of instance that you run, and smaller instances are less expensive. The free tier allows you to run a micro instance for free for one year, but you are still required to enter a valid credit card in case your charges exceed the free tier. Please note that you will not be charged until you start using the services. And as a new customer, the free tier allows you to run a micro instance for free for one year. To verify your identity, we ask you to provide a valid phone number. Select your country code first and then enter the number without the country code. An automated system will call you and ask you to dial or dictate with your voice the PIN that you see on the screen. Please answer the phone. It's Amazon Web Services calling you. Identity verification is now complete. Click Continue. If the process failed for some reason, please try it again. Final step. Click Complete Sign Up for Amazon EC2. You can also consider adding premium support now or later. In a short time, your subscription to Amazon EC2 will be activated. Step 2. The AWS Management Console. On aws.amazon.com, click the Sign In to the AWS Management Console button on top. Then enter your email address and password, and then sign in. From here, you can control the various Amazon Web Services, such as Amazon S3, Amazon EC2, and others. On the right side of the screen, 
there is a summary of the resources that you are using at the moment. Below that, you find related links on the web. On the left, you can navigate different sections of, in this case, Amazon EC2. On the top, links to your accounts and support. Step 3. Launch a virtual server with Amazon EC2. To launch an EC2 instance, click here. Select an Amazon Linux disk image to start with. You want to launch one micro instance. There are other options, small, medium, and other 64-bit images, but the micro is included in the free tier. Click Continue. Some of these options don't interest you at this moment. Continue. The name of this EC2 instance will be My Free Website. Click Continue. To be able to access the EC2 instance later, you have to create a key pair. You can name it Simone Free and then download it on your local computer. Download is complete. Now it's time to create a security group, which is a firewall for your EC2 instance. We name it Web Servers and add a description to it. We want to add SSH, which is needed to log in into the EC2 instance later, and HTTP and HTTPS to enable web traffic to the outside. Once finished, we click Continue. This is the final review of the EC2 instance that you want to launch. If it's OK, click Launch. You can now close this window and go back to the Management Console where your newly created EC2 instance is booting up or in pending status. If you refresh the page, after a few seconds, the EC2 instance will be running. Green light. Click on it to see every detail about it. Step 4. Upload your website to Amazon EC2. Every EC2 instance has a public DNS entry, a web address that you can use to access that instance. Copy it now. On your local machine, take a look at your authentication files or PAM files. First of all, make them readable only by the owner with chmod600mykey.pam. Then, using mykey.pam as the authentication file, connect with SSH to your EC2 instance, pasting the public DNS that you copied before as the address. Good. Once you're connected, clear the screen with Control L on your keyboard. LS to see your empty home directory. Connect as a root user with sudo su dash and cd to the web directory, var www.html. Using wget, download the zip file containing your website, then unzip myfreewebsite.zip into the same folder. Your website is now under the main web directory. To run a website, you need a web server. yum install httpd installs the Apache web server on your machine in just a few seconds. To make the website visible, move it from that subdirectory to the main one the index.html file should be there. After this, you can start the Apache web server by running service httpd start and then check its status to see if it's running. Step 5. Finished. It's time to check if everything works. Copy the public DNS of your EC2 instance and paste it into a new browser window. Great! Here's our website up and running. It was really easy. We're almost done. Let me draw some conclusions. 
I've shown you how to host a website on Amazon Web Services in less than 10 minutes. If you create a new AWS account, you can run it for free for one year. More details on what's free at aws.amazon.com slash free. And please also visit our security center, aws.amazon.com slash security. Did you like this presentation? What would you like to see next? Do you have suggestions, comments? Do you want to get in touch with me? Email me at simone at amazon.com. You can also find me on Twitter and on SlideShare. If you liked this presentation, I'd be thankful if you could share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, FriendFeed, your blog, or similar online tools. Thanks a lot. Ciao.